One, two, three. We're probably huge in the, in the Philippines. Philippines. Let's do this, people. Yeah. From the coolest city in the world, in the heart of downtown Las Vegas, we present the Downtown Podcast with your host, Mr. Dylan Jorgensen, Jillian Minter, Trey Taliaferri, and music by DJ Lenny Alfonso. Tonight's guest from Comedy in Action, Jeff Sibilico, the 2014 Downtown Podcast Awards, and our musical guest, the Rocky Brown Brand. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to the man who has already broken his New Year's resolution, Mr. Trey Taliaferri. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. It's great, great crowd. <laughs> Great crowd. I did not bring right, those right. people. Thank you so much for coming, everybody. This is our 100th episode. Yeah! So much fun. So much fun. We've done 100 episodes. Five of them have been good. But we did 100, and it's a milestone that we want to celebrate with you today. But first of all, there's a very great day. Today is the first day of 2015. And who has already broken New Year's resolution? Yeah? Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. I did. I had a little. I had a couple of donuts today. Whatever. It's okay. Right on. It's okay. We'll start Monday. Um, do you have any? Do you do New Year's resolutions? No, I'm uh, kind of uh, uh, anti uh, New Year's resolution. Like uh, like you, hate Christmas. I don't like New Year's resolutions. That's right. I hate. I don't like Christmas stuff. Christmas is kind of boring. Um, it gets kind of get difficult. But you don't like to do any kind of New Year's resolutions. Well, this year I decided to do the opposite. You know. You do the opposite? Yeah. What do you mean by that? You just do? I'm going to eat as much as I can this year. OK, so you make a goal to do the opposite. Yes, yes. So that when you break your resolution, it's a good thing. Never be disappointed. Yeah, so it's like, uh, wear cool ties. Oh, well, thank you very much. Oh, thank yeah. You. yeah, okay, yeah there I appreciate yeah. that. This is a Jessica, Jessica Galindo. Oh, uh, oh so Leather we're Couture. Out. She's at the Container Park. Oh, Container yeah. Park. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, but how was New Year's yesterday? Did you work? Did you do anything yesterday? I didn't run into Jessica, but it was a good. It was a good. Oh, you didn't run yeah. into Jessica. Do you like Jessica? <laughs> she's she's adorable. Yeah. That's a New Year's resolution to not talk to Jessica. <laughs> then you can get it. All right, good. Yeah, yeah. What type? Uh, a New Year's that I had a couple of years ago. I want to talk about this. Um, we have. I was with my family a couple of years ago. We have this adorable little Shih Tzu that's crazy, and we heard her rummaging through something and going crazy and barking, and then we heard some other noises, and it, it was a bunch of coyotes. And we're like, why is there coyotes out there? And my little sister said, Trey, do something, do something. You have to save the dog. And I didn't know what to do. And I thought this was a time where I should be a man and save my shih tzu from a bunch of coyotes. And then I thought to myself, this is a perfect opportunity to use my samurai sword. So I run <laughs> upstairs and I grab my samurai sword that I had for emergencies only. And I'm trying to think, what am I going to do? Am I going to yell? Do I have to put on the, the pants that I got with the, with the sword? Um, and then uh, That's a lot. by that time, I thought to myself, I think the dog's dead. But then uh, I, looked, I went downstairs, and my sister was holding a dog. She said, I just turned the lights on, and they all ran away. I was like, oh, OK. But I had the samurai sword, and everything's good. It's a, I got the samurai sword from my grandfather. Um, when he passed away, we were going through some stuff, and I found it. And I decided that I was going to say that my grandfather passed down a samurai sword to me. And, um, and I was going to say, I'm going to pass it down to, to my grandson when I'm dying and say, this is a, a part of the family, and you have to honor it. But I'm going to have to come up with a whole bunch of fake stories so that it sounds so, you know, he's not going to know anything. Whatever. He's a little punk kid already. Um, yeah, so. Uh, so, um, so you saved, saved the Shih Tzu with your samurai sword? I didn't save it. I kind of just, I botched the save. The dog's OK, but I botched it. And I'm not a man. Anyways, uh, you know what's a lot of fun? What's that? Chubby kids dancing is a lot of fun. Chubby kids yeah, dancing? Yeah, there was a kid who just, uh, they filmed him dancing to a few songs. I will not be outdone by someone wearing the same pants as me. Oh, no. Hit it. Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, 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 bass. Great show for you guys tonight, our 100th episode. We have some special treats for you today. There's going to be a lot of fun. Let's stick around. We're going to go to commercial break. But first, let's give it up for DJ Lenny Love.
Thank you so much, all right. Since this is our 100th episode, but no one really cares, we decided that we're just gonna give ourselves some awards. So to present our awards, we have the lovely Jillian Minter. Let's give it up for Jillian. Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us on this milestone for our 100th episode. We really appreciate all your support and we're excited that we've made it to this moment. So without further ado, we're gonna present some awards from the last 100 episodes. So, to get started, we have the first award, which is the best dance moment. And the nominees are Trey versus Brendan. <laughs> the flash mob proposal at the container park. And Susan and the Robot, R2-D2. And the winner is... Drum roll, please. Trey and Brendan. Yay! Oh Trey, my gosh, congratulations. It, was just, it was so good to be nominated. I didn't think I was going to win. I have a few things prepared, though. Um, just, I wanted to, first I wanted Trey, to talk. Trey, we don't have time for this. This is part of the time. Thank you. Oh, All right, God. so. <laughs> our next award is for the best off-camera clip. We have a lot of fun at the podcast behind camera. So, the many facets of Dylan Jorgensen and the makeover. <laughs> James and the Bull at Stoney's at a podcast event. Construction of our podcast set, Kyle and B. And be singing after hours at the campfire. I'll wear your grand as gold. I look incredible. I'm in this big ass gold from that big shop down the road. Yes. <laughs> All right. And the winner is. Dylan. Ah. Thank you. Not easy with my hair. Thank you. Now, I know the off-camera stuff, like you really put a lot of effort into that, but right. like for the next 100 episodes, I need you to put the effort to the on-camera stuff oh. and, and put a little bit more effort into that. Gotcha. Uh, okay? Yeah, yeah, thanks. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, so the next award is for the best non-human of the podcast. We have Oki, our dog cam dog. Also, Dolly, our mascot, the Dolly Llama. And Pablo and the robot. And the winner <laughs> is... Pablo as R2-D2. Pablo, will you please come up and accept uh, the award? Me, excuse me, excuse me. Hold on, hold on one Dolly, second. Dolly, excuse me, excuse Dolly, me. you didn't win. I am the face of Dolly. this damn podcast right here, and no, you guys Dolly, are not giving, you give out awards to everybody, you, but you're you not giving me stop. awards. This isn't your this award. award show is Pablo tacky and tasteless like your bangs. Your, your, your ego? Yeah, yeah, that's right. You heard me. Thank you, Pablo. It was actually a different robot, and I think you guys totally, the, it should have been the penguins. Did anybody remember the penguins? Yeah. The penguins, should have been the penguins. Oh, there's you. so many. <laughs> Thank you, Pablo. Yeah. 
And last but not least, we have our award for the biggest supporter. So our biggest supporter award is going to a company that supports a lot of different businesses around the valley in Las Vegas. But V Cause, our winner, has been our biggest supporter and given us the most money. So Peter, will you please come up and accept your award? We really appreciate it. And so many things have been made possible. Thank you so much. Thank you, I didn't expect that, but thank yeah. you. I feel, uh, wow, this is heavy and, and really, really amazing. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's awesome, I love it. No, I really am uh, grateful for this and I'm grateful that you guys are uh, doing your business down here in downtown and very excited to be a part of it and to help you and we're gonna help you again. All right. All right. Thank you All so right. much, Peter. All right, you guys, that's the awards for the last 100 episodes. So up next, we have Dylan with Jeff Civilico from Comedy in Action. Stay tuned. We have Jess, Jeff Civilico, who actually does something called Comedy in Action, which is comedy, but with all sorts of action pieces put on top of it. One of the youngest performers to be on the strip, has his own Wikipedia page, so it's kind of validating us, really, if you think about it, first time. Um, and he's just super fun and cool. So put your hands together for Jeff Civilico. Thank you. All right, yeah. So anyways, you were holding that chair up above your head like a champ. Do you want to do it one more time for the home audience to make sure that they can sure. see? Um, yeah, and I guess you probably can't talk while you're doing it, but are you, how do you learn something like that? You just... Take it out. <laughs> Looks like we have a chin on. Ooh. Wait, is this a is this is this a normal skill? Am I missing out on something? Like I no, I, I don't think it. Yeah, I do not. <laughs> That's great. Okay, all right. So, uh, yeah, I just found out. No, everybody's surprised. I guess everybody can do it. It seems like. Anyways, uh, but I want to talk a little bit about your history. So, one of the youngest performers to make it to the strip. But um, you said your family always supported you, even though you've got yes. doctors and people like that. So, talk a little bit about that, because I think there's a lot of entrepreneurs in the audience who, sure. you know, want to do something unique and they're worried. Well, okay. So I think it's kind of a um, a buzz phrase. You know, say you got to do what you love. Right. You know, and it's, uh, everybody's like, yeah, dude, you gotta do what you love, man. You know, and uh, my parents <laughs> always said that, right? And, and it's kind of, um, that's what people, uh, that's, that's what people want to hear. That's what people want you to, you to say. It's like, oh yeah, absolutely. But oftentimes it actually comes out as like, yeah, you gotta do what you love. As long as I've heard of it and it fits into like a predefined category that I'm aware of, like <laughs> doctor, teacher, lawyer, you know, like merchant chief, <laughs> right, kind right. of, you know, that very like boxy. Yeah, be yourself in the box I want. Yeah, right. exactly. Right. So um, I just, you know, I, I owe so much to my parents because they said, you got to do what you love, uh, and they actually meant it. Uh, and I'm a, a really good example of that. Wow, that's great. Um, yeah, good. Yeah, good. No, it's cool. Put your hands together for good parenting. Yeah. yeah. Well, the interesting thing yeah, is my yeah. oldest brother uh, is a PhD from Harvard in neurobiology. Um, <laughs> yes, and uh, my older brother, the, the second next in line, is a dentist who's taking over my father's dental <laughs> practice. Uh, and I'm the juggler. Okay. Yeah. Well, so so elaborate. That's cool because they they've been extremely supportive. They always have been, and uh, it's funny because people they they hear that and they want to write their own story. They're like, right. it must be the black sheep, and you know, like, oh, what do they it's think? Like, no, yeah. like, no, they're cool. They're like, my parents yeah. like loved me. Like, even my, yeah, one brother's a doctor, one brother's a you know a scientist, and one brother's like a performer <laughs> on the strip. So it's great. Um, story not told much, cool. but um, but so talk to me a little bit about comedy in action. Like, why do you call it that, and what does that mean? Yeah. So um, no one wants to go see a juggler, right? Like, I don't even. I juggle for a living. I don't want to see it. But you're like, kick it up. Kick um, the excitement up a notch. Yeah, so I, right. it's all about the comedy, you know? Um, juggling is just the platform. Uh, so my show is, when they when, when they leave, the audience leaves, they say, wow, that was really funny. I laughed, I had a good time. <laughs> um, you know, I yeah. bonded with the performer, hopefully. I bonded with the other audience members. And so uh, that's not what people think of when they think of a juggling show. Right. Um, so uh, it's a comedy show, and that's why I coined that little term comedy in action uh, because it's a physical comedy show with gotcha. stunts. I do juggle. Obviously, I do some balancing of the chairs. Right, um, and we're going to hopefully see some more of this in a minute. Uh, yeah, but so, before yeah. we do, I do want to talk about joggling. So I don't know if you coined this term or if it's the first thing, but uh, talk about the charity that you have and where this idea for joggling came from, the combination of jogging and juggling. Sure. So, uh, you know, if you kick it back to my parents, what we talked about um, a few minutes ago, you know, they said, you know, you have to do what you love. And, uh, and when I looked around at my friends and my, my brothers and my peers, you know, they were, uh, you know, just 
doing amazing things, all of them, in, in very uh, more traditional spaces, you know, finance or, you know, uh, tech or Yeah, stuff. neurobiology. Right, and... Exactly, right. So I thought if yeah, I'm going to yeah. do this, I want to do it and build it as a business, as a brand, um, and have many different, you know, extensions. Right. You know? So, very so the show would just yeah. be a platform, um, but then I could do, you know, TV work, I could do uh, uh, traveling, I could do, uh, I have a nonprofit um, as well. So do corporate workshops, you know, team building workshops, and yeah. uh, host, so, so all these different facets to it. So when you say, you know, when you say that, um, it's all about kind of building that whole brand, um, and that's just one more extension. So uh, the nonprofit is uh, kind of a, a great way for me to use my network um, and the platform of my show uh, to get other ent entertainers involved mm. and connect them with charities okay. Uh, locally. Okay, so how about we challenge you to a few new things, right? So you took the idea of combining juggling with other things. We thought maybe when we come back from this commercial break, you could uh, try to live up to some of the challenges we thought up in the, in the writing room. Okay, you guys ready to see what we have in store for them? Yeah. All right. Okay, we'll be right back then. Okay. Easier your juggling balls? Yeah. I didn't know how to juggle. Oh I'm already an expert. Wait, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. <laughs> I mean, mooing and juggling. So if you want to start. while juggling. Yeah, so hopefully this will just kind of warm you up, get your voice ready. Oh. Moo. How's that? What do you guys think? Is that, does that qualify or are we kind of on the fence there? Give me one really good. Moo. They got a bunch of cows. Like, can you do multiple cows? Multiple cows. Um, <laughs> moo, 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 moo. <laughs> OK. All right. So um, that's good. One of the other ones we came up with, dance going. Are you able to dance while you're dance going? Going? Yeah. Not duggling? Or duggling. Yeah, actually, duggling. No, I like dance going. Teams? Dance going. Dance going, um, yeah. Sure, can I get some tunes? I remember. So he does, he does joggling, oh, the oh, original wow. one, was for a charity. I'm harness my inner tray. We know that yes. Now he's got that donut dance down. Oh, Oh, I think so. Good job. Walk away. All right. So sometimes you're juggling so long you get hungry. So we thought about eat going. Are you able to actually eat? If eat so, going. we uh, we brought my own balls? apples here. Oh no, I can eat. Yeah, we probably thought you should eat food instead of oh, yeah? plastic or whatever that is. Cool. Bean bags. Are there any stickers on them? I don't eat oh, stickers? stickers? Yeah. Have you ever done that? Uh, no, I've never eaten stickers. So I eat while juggling, like. Oh, oh. that would be it. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Scarfing it down. All right, I think that one passes. <laughs> Can you talk or are you going to swallow? No, I need to call man. Okay. Keep <laughs> talking. <laughs> you have to fast forward this part. Oh. Wow. Okay, so. Why is in my teeth? So you don't have to. So you don't have to talk about. It. Yeah, you got a lot of stuff in your teeth. Let's not worry about it. Um, so it's getting cold in mess. Vegas, surprisingly. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we wanted to see when the time comes for you to go out and joggle for your charity. When you go outside to go run, yeah. are you able to get the coat on while you are still juggling? Juggling? Uh, we call this coggling. Oh, coggling. We're not, we're not really that like creative. Yeah. Juggling. Okay. So um, sure. So I don't know. Do you want me to? I can hand it to you. I'll no, no, no. Here. Let's put it somewhere. I okay. put it on the chair. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. So I'm see if I'm, you can. Uh... Right now I'm suggling. I'm seated while juggling. Oh, <laughs> seated, yeah. I like that. But I'm uh, I'm cold. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. I've never done this. I really have never done this. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, we, we really threw you for a little. Yeah, no, like, it's, it's not a not a planned so joke. Can, okay, so I just don't know how I'm gonna get the. Uh... <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. The balls are too big. They won't fit through. <laughs> Yeah. That's great. It's really stuck. Oh, crap. Uh, oh, you guys turn fast. Yeah, that's good. They're like, yay, kill the juggler, kill him. Hold on, hold on.
Which, All right. I um, almost, it was really my, my balls. They, there you go. All right, how was that? Okay, so we got, we got all right, it's a good job. I think you I, I lost think, it. I, think I lost him with the drop. So you got okay. a minute and a half left. Do you want to teach somebody? How sure, who wants to learn that juggle? Maybe? Perfect, sir, come on up. Yeah. Yes, yes, <laughs> you, yes. Why not? I don't know. All Just right. felt right. How you doing? Good job, thank you. You're kind of a bigger, bigger yeah. dude than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you what's saw him in the audience. I'm Spencer. Spencer! Everybody say hi, Spencer. Hi, Spencer. Hi. Spencer, this is the 100th episode. Let's kick this party up a notch. Right. One more button! One more button. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. All right. Uh, Spencer, Maybe are you right or left-handed? I'm left-handed. Left-handed. The plot thickens. You're the left hand. I'm the right hand. Together, we're making a super person okay. between the two of us. I know. I'm excited, too. <laughs> it's going to be great. OK, right hand at your side, behind your back, or we can huggle. Huggle? I don't, hug, hug. I, I don't want to huggle. I, it's just an option. Okay, toss the ball over to me, Spencer, and catch mine. Nice. I like how you intentionally made it look more difficult than it really is. <laughs> <laughs> nice okay, one more time. Spencer throws, Jeff throws. Spencer throws, Jeff throws. Okay, now Jeff is adding the third ball. Silence, please. Thank you. <laughs> Leaving a silence so we can concentrate. Okay, don't stop throwing over there, okay? okay? I got to go first, though. I got oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Jump the gun. Throw Spencer. Again, Spencer. Again. Yes, give it up for Spencer! Whoa. Yes, yes, Spencer! Oh, God, I saved your life. All right, one more time with a big finish. One more time with a big finish. Yes, give it up, guys, for Spencer. Yeah. Nice. nice, Spencer. Give it up for Spencer! Nice. Good job. All right, so everybody, where can they check you out? Tell them where they can see your full show, because it gets uh, a lot better. At the Link Hotel and Casino. Okay. Formerly the Quad, formerly the Imperial Palace. Right, and you got the website, jeffsavillico.com, and then your charity? Yeah, winwinentertainment.org. Okay, check them out. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. There you go. That's good. Take my balls and get out of here. Yeah. And I'll take your apples. Here we go. Finish eating. Ladies and gentlemen, the Rocky Brown Band. Wake up in the morning, do a little dance. Wake up in the morning, put on my happy pants. So much, baby.
Thank you so much. Thank you for being a part of our 100th show, everyone. That's our show tonight. Good night. That was amazing. That was great. That was great. Great. You guys brought the house down. That was amazing. Thanks. Thanks for coming, guys. Thanks.